What's up guys, it's Sun here. And today I want to explain to you the scarcity and demand that is starting to really take place with Bitcoin this year and what's really starting to push the price up. Now, of course, every four years, the Bitcoin halving happens. And what that means is the amount of new Bitcoin being issued halves. And what that usually means is that shortly after the halving in the following six to 12 months, there's a surge of demand and interest in Bitcoin and therefore the price starts to rally. Now, this year we have a halving in April. We're not even there yet. We've got 50 days left, roughly two months. And yet Bitcoin is starting to really take off. We're only eight to $10,000 below the all-time high recorded a couple of years ago. So what is really pushing Bitcoin's price up? Well, no one can specifically point to exactly what it is, but I'm about to explain a few things to you and I'm pretty sure that this will help you understand um, why the demand and interest is really starting to surge. So last month we saw Bitcoin ETF exchange traded funds over in the US get approved. What that means is that traditional finance and people that invest in funds can now technically invest in Bitcoin through funds that hold Bitcoin. So. This is huge. This is traditional money. Um, look, this is your parents. This is your grandparents. This is a lot of older people that have their money tied up with asset managers. They can now put some of those that assets or their money into Bitcoin by going through an ETF. This means that they don't have to set up a wallet. They don't have to manage their private keys. All they do is put their money in the fund and watch the returns come and go and decide when they would like to sell it or swap it out. Very, very simple. It's how traditional finance has managed hundreds and hundreds of billions if not trillions of dollars for a very long time and now we have spot bitcoin etfs available for people to put their money in just as an example take a look at this article here within 30 minutes of the first bitcoin spot etfs launching over 1 billion dollars worth of trading volume took place in the first 30 minutes that's breaking a new record making it one of the most actually making it to date the most successful etf launch for an asset reaching a billion dollars of trading volume in 30 minutes now, I'm going to tie into a few different things here, right? And I don't usually make these educational videos or news videos. I usually make tutorial videos for people, but I do want to explain this and so that people can actually understand what is going on here. With the amount of money flowing into these ETFs, so these funds, on average in the last month, they have taken 3,700 Bitcoin off the open market for these funds. So these funds are out there and they're actively buying Bitcoin. As the amount of money flows into these funds, they do need to buy the underlying asset, which is Bitcoin. Where are they buying it from? Obviously the open market, you can't just go out into your backyard and dig up a few Bitcoin and sell it off to BlackRock or, or these funds or Fidelity. They have to buy it off the open market. Now they're probably doing OTC trades, which means that they're working with big companies like Coinbase, so they're doing it privately. Either way, they're buying Bitcoin off the market. And when I say that they're on average buying 3,700 Bitcoin per day, that's a very important number to, to keep in mind. So that's over the last 30 trading days on average. The amount of new Bitcoin being issued per day, so the amount of new Bitcoin being released is 900 currently. So 900 new Bitcoin are being issued and released to miners every day and 3,700 are being bought off the market for these ETF funds alone. That doesn't include retail traders like myself, you, anyone that's buying Bitcoin as well, even private companies that haven't announced it. 3,700 just for these funds. Like, it's supply and demand, it's basic math. To add to the equation, with the Bitcoin halving coming in roughly two months, that 900 new Bitcoin that is created and issued per day will halve to 450. So it's going to go from 900 to 450. And currently with 3,700 Bitcoin being eaten up and taken off the market by these funds, you do the simple math, the amount of inflation or new tokens being created is diminishing and the amount of demand and people trying to get a hold of these tokens or Bitcoin of course is what I mean is increasing. It's very, very simple math. There's obviously a lot more going on with Bitcoin. Of course, TikTok, every 10 minutes, a new block happens. Nothing's changed about Bitcoin at all in the last five to 10 years. Obviously, there's been a few software upgrades and improvements over time, but it's still doing exactly what it was set out to do. Every 10 minutes, a new block of transactions is mined by a miner. New Bitcoins are given to that miner. And once again, everyone can transact in Bitcoin. You can hold Bitcoin. And being a scarce asset with only a certain amount of coins to ever exist, it's performing the way that it should as long as there is growing demand. So it's really, really exciting. If we have a look at the all-time chart of Bitcoin, I got back into Bitcoin around 2017. That's just roughly when I first started to learn about Bitcoin, around $1,200 US dollars. 
I watched it go from 1,200 all the way up to 20,000 and then all the way back to about three to 4,000. So that was a huge all the way up, all the way down. A lot of regrets. Why was I buying Bitcoin at 15,000? What, what did I do? Did I make a mistake? Sure enough, roughly three to four years later, we go from at a low of three or 4,000 all the way up to 65,000, just over 60,000, 65,000 roughly. Once again, we fall all the way down to a new low of 16,000. So as you can see, even though Bitcoin is going up and down, over time, it's going up further and it's going down less. Its new all-time low from the last bull run was three times the previous low, 300% more than the previous low. Now we're going from 16,000 as the most recent low, and we're currently at $56,000 today as of making this video. We only need to go up another five, oh sorry, eight to $10,000 and we've broken a new all-time high. I've been in Bitcoin long enough. I understand it inside out. I have a lot of confidence in it. I highly recommend you learn more about it yourself. This video today has just been a small touch of information. Bitcoin halving is coming up. It's going to be very exciting. Of course, historic trends don't predict future trends. Just because Bitcoin has performed well after previous halvings does not specifically mean that it will perform well after this halving. But it's just very interesting with seeing that these ETFs are snatching up thousands of Bitcoin off the market on average per day. And the amount of new Bitcoin being issued sits at 900 and is about to drop to 450. Once again, supply and demand, very basic economics. Uh, Bitcoin is doing what it is set out to do and the naysayers have been proved wrong once and once again. Now I'm going to be making a lot of a lot more videos very shortly. Obviously a lot of tutorials, guides, getting people up to speed, showing them how to buy, sell, trade, store their cryptocurrency securely. Not financial advice. I'm not going to give you price predictions. I'm not going to bullshit you and tell you that if you buy this coin, you're going to make this amount of money. There's so much hype and emotion in this market. There's a lot of influencers that have never even understood Bitcoin or cryptocurrency that will pop up in the next six months to a year and promise that they can show you how to make fortunes. Just don't trust people that are trying to sell you into shit. It's, it's not realistic. Learn, understand, gain confidence. It's an investment if you actually understand what's going on and it's gambling if you don't. It's as simple as that. Hey, look, apart from that, guys, thanks for watching. I do appreciate it if you are seeing this video because this is the first video that I've made in a long time. I am back and I will be very active. Uh, I would love your feedback and also suggestions for videos below. My name is San and I will see you in my next video.